Cheers! Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, movie Bitches! Bitches. A stud. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> I'm really living for this. Yeah, it's good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but now I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay. Welcome to Movie Bitches, a very special retro review. Episode 51. Tonight we're reviewing Grease! Grease! If you haven't seen Grease... <gasps> First things first. First things. Go see Grease. I'm um, trying to figure out the right time to take these sunglasses off. Maybe just keep them on. Oh my god. It's no, mystery. they need to see your face, your beautiful glacier blue. The gla glacier blue eyes. <laughs> second thing second, mm. make sure to subscribe. Click that subscribe button right now. Just go do it. Just go do it. And then. Did you do it? Thumbs up. Did you, did you do it? <laughs> Click that little thumbs up button. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Also, Shout out to our Patreon subscribers, $5 yes. a month or more, and you are getting early access to videos just like this one, including this very one. You're watching this before other people. That's pretty cool. Lucky you. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking them off. I'm taking them off. Mm. Should I put them here? Sure. So, Grease, oh my, my favorite slumber party film yep. growing up. Absolutely. Watched it. I don't know how many times. A million? Couldn't tell, couldn't tell you. Every time I watch it, I feel like I understand more. It's jam-packed. It is. With little references. Yes. I mean, we had some discoveries. Oh, we really upon did. Upon watch, well, you mostly, but we had some discoveries <laughs> upon watching. Um, little jokes here and there, little naughty things here and there that I was like, that's what that meant? Oh my God, so many naughty things that like, as a child, yeah. never right. understood. Uh huh. Which I think is also then kind of amazing. It's great. I love that like, as a kid, I appreciated and loved this thing and it was very inappropriate and yet I didn't understand. Those are the best kind of movies, I think. I where agree, where it's like an adult can... movie, but also kids can love it. Yeah. I watched this uh, with my first and only girlfriend all throughout elementary school. Did you act? reenact some of the songs together? Well, yes, in fact, we did. Funny you should ask. I mean, do because we were in video evidence of a it? school production of Grease. What? Who did you play? No one. Just chorus. Yeah, I can't sing. Greaser. I mean, even as a kid, I couldn't sing. But yes, I many a night was spent watching Grease. And I just remember, it's so weird because... Many a night. I don't know, the, the summer nights. I feel good about it. <laughs> this is not the Grease sing-along. However, I've also been to the Grease sing-along multiple times at the Hollywood Bowl, which is super fun fabulous. Mm. If you ever get the chance to go, it's pretty great. Speaking of not uh, fully comprehending things, okay. Grease was also an instance of... That movie wasn't shot in the 50s? Ah, uh, yes. For me. Mm -hmm. It was a Wonder Years situation where I was like, what? What? Fred Savage and Ben Savage are brothers and are in fact not father and son? What? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So that was a fun thing that happened. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> definitely thought that this movie was like old. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I mean, it, it is parodying all of the old movies. Like, it, it knows what it's referencing and does that very well. Yeah. Um, including the opening scene. I mean, oh at the God. beach. Oh Love it. Love this scene. <laughs> It falls in the sand cap. Well, oh, right. well, all this movie flirting is just so funny to me. It's just like splashy, splashy. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's always like middle school flirting, like splashy, splashy. That and they're like thirty. Yeah. So it's weird. I'm doing splashy, splashy with this girl I really fancy, and she's doing splashy, splashy back, and I'm going fucking hell, splashy back, you know. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. From like, what are you doing? Probably. You're acting like a child. What's happened? Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> oh my god, I shoved you down pulling your pigtails, you know? I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're an adult. You're... Maybe that's what it is. Because Splashy Splashy is the aquatic equivalent of do you want a cup of coffee? Right? It always seems weird. <laughs> right? I mean, it's always yes, like, but what? I think that was always supposed to be part of it too, where it was yes. just like, it's like that encapsulation of like high school-y romance nonsense, where yes. it's just like you look back on yourself and you're like, what the fuck were we doing? I mean, that's for sure. Recently, you found some old journals and diaries of myself from middle school, and it was embarrassing. <laughs> Most embarrassing was my spelling, I think. Actually, no, oh. I'm not embarrassed by that. My spelling's still atrocious. It was bad, though. 
I think the movie is actually trying to highlight that. Where it's oh, like, yes. oh, when they're just on their own, they can be themselves. They're little, cute, nerdy, goofy. Right. Well, but, and, Selves. yeah, like, like um, Danny can be the nice guy that, yeah. you know, he pretends not to be in school. Right. And, I mean, it's very much, you know, a summer place. It's, she's very Sandra D, obviously. Yes. Um, Troy Donahue, like they're they're making specific references specifically to Summer Place, which is like this angsty. You have disgraced me enough. Now do as I say. I've been a good girl. I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> the mom who's just like, you're a sinner for falling in love with you know, and like they want to be together, but oh, we have to be pure and like all of this nonsense. So there's that. Yeah. And then there's. Love, love is a man who splendid things. things. Oh. Don't, Danny, you'll ruin it. Oh my God. <laughs> the splashing and the rock. It's only making it better, Sandy. Mm -hmm. no, no, that's assault. Yep. <laughs> Danny, don't spoil it. It's not spoiling it, Sandy. It's only making it better. Multiple times throughout the movie, there's certain oh, things yeah. where you're like, oh, and that's just... Not okay. Not not appropriate. Ha ha, we pranked you, we, you know, sharked you or whatever, you know. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, and then he was, like, sitting underneath her on the bleachers, you know, mm, no. At least they call him out for, for that. True. They do address it. Hey! <gasps> Hi, girls. <laughs> You're a sick man, putz. Okay, wait, I have to take this off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Next I'll do the shirt. It just reminded me of Strip Happy Days. Strip Happy Days game? Yeah, well, I couldn't find any cards, so it was either this or a strip bag of old knitting stuff. You don't watch Friends? Never no. mind. Although, talk, speaking of Happy Days, I mean, obviously they're referencing that as well. In this. Sure. Yes, 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 yes. And well, anyway, so we, what were we just watching where there was an animated intro and I was like, oh, I couldn't think of it last time we had this conversation. Oh, we never thought of it? No. Great. <laughs> what was it? Was it something we talked about on camera or was it something we just texted each other? I don't know. The drag race, I don't know. It anymore. wasn't See You Soon, that's for damn sure. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> they don't even know that See You Soon yet. Oh, that's true, that's true. But yes, this cartoon opening, yeah. which I miss and I love. I love. I mean, to me, it's iconic. I don't know if it is an iconic intro, but I just always remember loving like this. This entire movie is iconic. That's, yes, this entire movie is iconic. Period. <laughs> End of story. That's the review. Thanks, guys, for coming. It was great. Oh, great. No, but like this intro, I just always remember loving so much. Yeah. Grease is the word. And, you know, it's just so fun. But it's I miss animated. Like we liked in, in True Beverly Hills. We we're talking about how fun it was. Oh, so much fun. Well, and it, it usually somewhat is uh, the same way that a overture yes. gives you clues to what's going to happen musically throughout. This also it gives you little hints. Oh, that's yeah, ooh, 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 this that. Yeah. Or sometimes it's just really weird. It's, Rizzo's neck is super long and rubbery giraffe I don't know, because she's not meant to wear a turtleneck. No. That's what we learn. No. I mean, we do get a good character, like... Ization. Introduction of each person, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, I know a little bit about who each of these people Sandy are. Sandy is Snow White. I mean... I mean, when those deer show up and the birds... <laughs> the birds! Fucking love it. Every time. Well, I should have known. How did I not know with this like Barry Gibb '70s disco soundtrack that it wasn't from like that? I thought it was from <laughs> sure. the '50s, right? Unless it was like Back to the Future, and <gasps> there was like some whole crazy thing. And that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> what was it? What was it? Marvin. Chuck, it's Marvin. You know that new sound you're looking for? Well, listen to this. This is the main brain, Vince Fontaine, beginning your day with the only way: music, music, music. Well, and then it was always weird to me. So they show them all cartoony. Oh, I'm waking up. I'm yeah. doing this. Oh, blah, blah. I'm getting ready for school. And then whenever it show, goes into the mirror or to like their oh, they have, like, portraiture, a caricature. it's like a freaky caricature. It's like a really weird, bad caricature. And I'm like, why did you pick this? It freaks me out. Yeah. Accentuated freak features. Yes. You know, like his, yes. his um, chin dimple. You know, you could like spurlunk in there. It's like a lot. <laughs> sure. Spelunk? Spelunk? There's no R, I don't think. Spurlunking. Spelunking. What's spurlunking? I don't think it's a thing. I'm really loving this little pony. Thanks. Yeah, it's cute. It's giving me a good vibe. And him, oh, I always remember him like squeezing the grease. It looked like toothpaste to me, but it, you know, into his oh, hair yeah, and, just, and then like, coming it out. And then spells oh. it out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. We get introduced to Rydale High. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Which is in Venice. 
And um, that statue that's in front of the school is of Myrna Loy. Oh. Because she went to that high school. Before Funny. she was Myrna Loy. I mean, she was always Myrna Loy, but, but like before she was famous. Sure. It's not because she's famous. Wait, the statue was just because? She went to that high school in real life. Uh-huh. And she was in the arts or something. And like as a thing that they did for the, you know, the school, she posed for that statue. And Funny. then became the famous actress Myrna Loy. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I love that. And this shot of Danny <sighs> over the shoulder, who me? I mean, John Travolta is a cutie. Yes, he was never my jam in this movie, you or maybe into, ever. You were into Kaniki. I liked Kaniki better, and I liked the cute little blonde Aryan boy. That reminds me of Rolf from Sound of Music. Is it Potsy? Hey, right here, Potsy, huh? Is he 16 going on 17? No, Potsy's the, Potsy's from Potsy's the 43 year old man from yeah. No, Potsy's from Happy Days. Is he? That's Fonzie. No, there's Fonzie, but then Potsy is the dark haired. Right. Ansel Williams? Is that his name? Anyway, well, there's Sonny, is the, is the uh, very Sonny's, old man. Yes. It's tough with all those chicks hanging around you. Yeah, well, the only thing that hangs around you, Sonny, are the flies. <laughs> I love that. The very old man. I mean, I was never like, oh, John Travolta's my end-all, be-all. But, like, he's cute. Like, he's, he's certainly, a cutie. He's cutie and he's charming. He fits perfectly in this movie. Like, Absolutely. The look is right and mm. on point for him. Right? He nails it. He nails it. It's great. I wouldn't cast anyone else. It was perfect. It was lightning in a bottle. That is true. Grease lightning in a bottle? <gasps> I see what you did there. Well, I could be Grease Lightning! I mean, is it time to talk about the soundtrack? I mean, okay. did I play this out? Oh my god. Good lord. Oh this my god. This was just... So many times. I don't even... I can't even... Every know. song, million times. Even the, like, the weird ones that are just on okay. the background of the prom? Okay. Yeah. I probably... There might be a tape somewhere of me and my sisters doing a sing-along to Grease. I can look for it. I would love it. And that. I definitely had to play Danny. <laughs> because those were the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you were great. I, it was. It wasn't good. But I'll look for the tape. I might be able to find it. I love no. that. I would. I hope I can find me in Greece because I bet you it's garbage. The whole. I mean, we were like maybe second grade. Ooh. It was. That's rough. I mean, no, 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 we maybe fourth grade, third or fourth grade. That's but better. But even so, it was like. And with Greece. Very young. I mean, it was Greece. like. They changed the book. I mean, we sang Grease Lightning. Obviously, the words were changed because... Were they? I mean, you can't... You can't old... have them singing about making girls cream? No. <laughs> the chicks will cream. No, no, you can't. You are supreme. The chicks will cream. For Grease Lightning. Didn't know what that meant as a kid. Nope. Well, and then we get to meet my favorite character? Maybe. Blanche? Blanche, do you have the new schedule? Uh, yes, Miss McKee. I just had my hands on them. Oh, good. They'll be nice and smudged. She might be my favorite. I don't Which know. How much do we think Edie McClure from Ferris Bueller was was manifesting Blanche? I don't know. Right? Well, and then a goofy movie, too, where they're like, I mean, rolling around. Like, I think 100%. this is, like, the quintessential, like, principal assistant role. Uh -huh. Like, you like know. Like, this is the standard. Yeah. And then everyone follows. Yeah, it's like, okay, I see what I, I see what I should do. Great. Yes, exactly. And Eve Arden is the principal. Oh, my God. I mean, her voice is oh. so, like, I remember the first time I saw her in a, an older movie that was not this, mm -hmm. and it was like one of those just, I was just like that, vo that voice. <laughs> is it against the rules of the house to discuss the classics? No, go right ahead. I won't take my sleeping pill tonight. See so an athletic supporter. Oh, the way she said And then it. her face afterward. Oh. If you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. She catches herself in the joke. It's so good. It's so good, especially even though I never understood that until I was much, much older. <clears throat> yeah, probably not at all. I mean, nope. I think it, you didn't even realize it until just recently when we talked Pretty about it. Pretty darn recently. Because it's it. just like in there. And I oh, never yeah. actually broke it down. It's like when you listen to a pop song like 8,000 times yep. and you don't actually take in the lyrics. You just sort of know them. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was that. If you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. The wish you went real British. You went real Glynis John with that. <laughs> and when I say dip, you dip. And when I say booga booga, you booga booga. What's booga booga mean? I don't know. 
But if I say it, you better fucking figure it out. Should we change our one of our Patreon supporter tiers, or should we just call them athletic supporters? Uh, yes. Somehow. Maybe that's the ten dollar tier is an athletic supporter. How do we make that? I like that. I like that a lot. Everyone's gathering on the quad. It's the first day of school after summer, and I did always wonder how do we think Sandy and Frenchie met. Thank you. It seems like Patty Simcox should be showing her around, is what I'm saying. Like, Absolutely. student by president. Oh, I'm here to introduce you. You're an out of the, you yep. know, a foreign exchange student. Yep. Whatever. We never really find out why she's there or what's happening. I, I thought you were going back to Australia. We had a change of plan. What? And you didn't call him? It seems weird. It was a summer fling. I get that was always so weird to me where it was like her family stayed and her thing that she loved this guy so much, the first thing she didn't do was to call him up and be like, oh my god, the best news ever. Do they not have phone numbers for each other? Of course they did. Right? Pennsylvania 6 5000. Oh my god. What's that? You know they used to have I mean, yes, but Oh, it's an old song. Oh. Cool. Pennsylvania 6 5000. Oh boy. Pennsylvania 6 5000. How old are you? Just an old soul, Andrew. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, no, I did always wonder, like, Frenchie doesn't seem like the type of person that would have volunteered for that. No. Did they just happen to meet? What's I, like, the deal? The roller derby or something? I, I want to know. Oh my god. That's what this movie's missing. Oh. It's perfect. But a roller derby scene where Rizzo is just, like, the boss? Oh my god. Uh-huh. Is it in Greece, too? They don't know. They don't have a roller derby scene in Greece. No, they don't. They have a luau. Oh, that's not. That's maybe one of the. That's the, not. <laughs> that's a lot lower down than I was not expecting that. <laughs> you could have asked me, like, I would have named 25 other things that I thought would be in Greece too before I got to luau. Maybe 100. Like, I. What does that have to do with anything, bitch? What does that have to do with anything, bitch? <laughs> 50s Hawaiian, oh, that's true, that's you know, true, like, true, oh, let's true. have a luau. Oh, cheeky, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. But, uh, yeah, it's unexpected. Mr. Lattieri. <laughs> that is no way to start a new semester, Mr. Lattieri. Uh, no, ma'am. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean, I'm well, just. Which um... is it? Yes or no? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> which is it? Yes or no? <laughs> so good. Yes, ma'am. You would have really told her off, huh? <laughs> Mr. Lattieri. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Because he's a, he's a 45 year old man in high school and she's concerned. He's been repeating senior year a lot. <laughs> she wants to get him out. <laughs> Even though she'll miss him. Sure. We get homeroom and oh my god, the frog. I remember always thinking that was like in, terrifying. I remember always thinking that frog looks rubber. Well, of course it was. But like, well, that was interesting too. Like, I never realized that it was supposed to be real or dead. Yeah, like formaldehyde. Yes, whatever. yeah, like, like that they're dissecting. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely seemed fake or supposedly real and jumping or I whatever. I just remember Patty Simcox being <laughs> annoying. Oh my god, yes. Well, of like, course Patty Simcox is annoying. She's Tracy <laughs> well, Flick. Well, she, she is Tracy <laughs> What kind of dirty stuff do we think Patty Simcox is getting up to? Oh, I would love that. I mean, she's not. We all know that she's not. But it... Do Later we? on, maybe? Do we? She's like a real She went crazy in college. Yeah. It's Patty Simcox in the streets and a freaking machine. I don't know. Okay, I kind of love it. Good. <laughs> I mean, actually, I kind of love it too. Is it a t shirt? <laughs> yes. Patty Simcox in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Love it. I'm kind of obsessed with this. I mean, it's very niche. But I love it. But Greece is less niche of some of the things but that like we put Patty on shirts. Like Patty Simcox? I don't know. So anyway, yeah, we get homeroom, and we're introducing all the characters. Hey, Eugene. Oh my god. And uh, poor Eugene. He's fine. He's he's Alan Cumming and Romeo Michels. He's made his millions on rubber. He's great. I, I like that. I think that's fair. But Eugene's fine. He's fine. Tits is fine. Tits is fine. Tits is fine. Isn't it, Father? Oh, yes. Tits. Tits are fine. Fine. <laughs> Tits! Tits! <laughs> we really need to write to her review that. We really do. And it's lunch, and I oh mean... Oh my gosh. I mean... Our first musical number. Don't you think they make them look smarter? No, you can still see your face. <laughs> oh, double duty! I'm uh. gonna my macaroni! Welcome to Rhyme Deal! <laughs> 
<laughs> well, then she screams over an apple. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's very or histrionic. Most, or is it the very least? Yeah. The very, very least. least. <laughs> that was a good Rizzo. But thanks. Yeah. And we're going back and forth. All, I mean, this is like, you know, Mean Girls 101. Oh, I mean, this is, you know, where we sit and this is where we sit and the got we're, we're no goths yet, but beatniks, I guess. Sure. Could have been some beatniks in this. Oh, Maybe there's some in the background that we never noticed. Sure. Although I was I was keeping a pretty good eye on the extras mm, this round. Yeah, because you knew what was happening. I was I, I like was that. keeping an eye out. But we get to go to the bleachers mm -hmm. and the T-birds. Oh, yeah. Her you mean her jugs are bigger, bigger than a nets? Now this was a fun conversation. Uh-huh. I mean her jugs were bigger than a nets? Nobody's jugs are bigger than a nets. <laughs> <laughs> so as a kid, I thought he was saying, You mean her jugs are bigger than than a nets, meaning like a waitress who wears a net. I really went there. I really created. Oh, not like a basketball net. What do I know? Basketball. <laughs> no, I went to <laughs> because people would call waitresses with the hair nets in like diners nets. Oh, that was like a thing that people said. Her jugs are bigger than a net. Than a nets, like. And I always thought a... you mean her jugs are bigger than her nets. Which I don't know. Her jugs are bigger than a net's. Like the 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 net would hold in like the, the jugs. Bra. Yeah, the net, or, or the bra net. Yeah, or... like her jugs are just overflowing. So she's she's wearing too small of a cup size. It was basically what you thought. I guess. Yeah. Like, but no, you know, obviously I knew this before, but um, Andrew discovered you know Annette Funicello last night, which was great. It was great. She doesn't get to have a cameo with Frankie Avalon. No. But yeah, there was. Often a lot of talk. I think Annette Funicello was really a spring awakening, if you will, for a lot of young men. In, is that the right phrase? It was a sexual awakening for young men. And um, they talk about it in, in Stand By Me as well, where it's like... Have you guys been watching the Mickey Mouse Club lately? Yeah. I think Annette's tits are getting bigger. I've been noticing lately that the A and the E are starting to bend around the side. <laughs> so, Annette Funicello. Learned a new thing. Yes, so we're, I mean, I always loved both of these scenes where we're with the girls, which I always wanted to be with their table better because obviously I really would honestly just spend all of my days with Rizzo. I mean, obviously. Tell me more, tell me more, because he sounds like a dress. Now I love Frenchie too, though. Is there? I always loved Frenchie. Oh yeah, Frenchie's great. I'm trying to think if there's a way to like have a Lizzo, Grease themed music video. I like it. Yes. Right? We can work that in. I approve. Lizzo, Rizzo, I see it. You know, whatever. We can make it work. The worst things she could do. Now, if she, like, remixed uh -huh. that song uh -huh. and did a Grease, I'm really liking this. Like, she could, like, really <laughs> update it. You know, like, kind of, yeah, uh-huh. Sample it. There are worse things. And, like, do yeah. it a Lizzo yeah. song. Uh -huh. Love that. But then also, like, uh, Ariana Grande did, like, have a throwback music video where it's, like, greasified. Love it. I approve of all of this. And this is so fun, you know, each side of their story of what happened this summer at the beach and like, oh, he was the sweetest and like, oh, we got down and dirty. You know, it's it's great. It's it's so good. It really is. <laughs> this is my go-to karaoke song. Oh, I would love it. Lots I mean, you parts, need a partner, but lots like, of parts to sing. There's lots of stuff to sing. Everyone gets excited because the last thing you want in karaoke is like a downer song, right? You're right. standing up there every like, You don't want to be singing hopelessly devoted to you. No. You don't want to do that for karaoke night. Different vibe. Different vibe. Tell me more, tell, tell me, me more, more, like this yalakai. <laughs> Another line I never understood. Uh huh. He ran by me, got my suit damp, and I was like, because she creamed herself? Is that, what's ha is that what we're talking about? I don't think so. You mean like because she got wet? She got wet. I mean, she's already swimming, so she's already wet. So why would him running by her get her more wet if it wasn't that she creamed herself? He ran by me. I, I mean, I don't know. I always thought that it was just like splashy, splash, splash. Because she has the innocent side. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, so like, he ran by me, got my suit damp because he literally splashed me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Andrew. Oh, Andrew. <laughs> I don't know. But she, because her side is not about sex. That's true. His side is about, like, we stayed out till 10 o'clock. Yeah, I can't yeah. sing, but I don't sing that part in the karaoke, don't worry. She got friendly, Danny. She got friendly down, down in the, the same area. Yeah. Because <laughs> he sounds like a drag. drag. Oh my god, it's so good. She kicks them off. And then I noticed this time when they're all sort of choop bop bopping, Jan is totally swirling Patty Simcox's ponytail like it's spaghetti with a fork. 
It was really weird. I noticed it this time. <laughs> Every oh, time I watch it, she's just like. That's very strange. <laughs> it's really weird. And Patty is not bothered by that. <laughs> Sitting on Apple. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then uh, when Sandy's like skipping, you know, mm -hmm. and everyone's like sort of doing a line behind yep. her. Yep. Um, there's like a mournful cafeteria worker behind her and Sibley, oh. sitting with their thoughts yeah. not engaging with no. the musical number that's happening I just thought oh that was interesting. It's a strange choice Never noticed until this viewing Very weird Because it's not a kid because we never see anyone but the kids engage in musical numbers That's true. Maybe that's gonna like lead into the magical realism conversation We're gonna have about the final shot. Maybe Maybe. Question mark lesbian shop teacher does dance in Grease Lightning. True. But she's a lesbian. <laughs> Good. Okay. Great. We solved the problem. <laughs> Teenagers. And LGBT. <laughs> she's a magical. Uh, LGBT all fits within the musical umbrella. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Also, none of them are kids, so. No, no. There's that too. <laughs> They're all like 30 years old. And of course, then the overlay, him at the top of yes. the bleachers. Oh my God. This shot. Whenever, I don't know why this always, I love doing this when, <clears throat> of course, I was forced to be Danny as a child. When, uh. <laughs> <laughs> when he goes, oh. Oh, yeah. Was there something uh -huh. like that? Uh -huh. Oh. Those uh, uh, Oh, it's so good. Night. He like really oh. feels his own face yes. when he does it. He really, oh. I mean, it's such a disco move. You know, yes. It's very Saturday Night Fever. Yes. Um, and, and also yeah. it gives me like a little Tim Curry-ness. Just in general. I, well, I think that's what I- Just I, the vibe. In this, yeah, it kind of gives me like a better looking, younger Tim Curry. But I like Tim Curry more. Well, of course. Well, of course. He's not a Scientologist. <laughs> um, I, don't know, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. I really but if you've seen, I mean, I'm just imagining um, Tim Curry, Pirates of Penzance era, when he was just mm. fresh-faced and young, and I was like, mm, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> and never mind. I'm not going to even, I was going to say, now who would we cast in a, nope, not doing it. <laughs> in a Grease remake? Mm -mm. <laughs> Not going I there. will say this. Yeah, the Grease Live. The Grease Live was the best of the lives, and I agreed with the casting of Julianne Hough. I thought she was great. That's all I'll say about that. I will also say this. I don't remember who played Danny. No, me. I, 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 no I, memory. No, no memory. I couldn't tell you. I agree. I thought it was great, but I also didn't watch pretty much anyone after that. So I couldn't you mean say, any of the other lives. I didn't watch the Wiz live. You didn't watch I, Peter. You watched Peter Pan live. That was you watched out before Sound of Music I thought. Live. I never actually watched all of the Sound Music live. What? I only watched parts of it. Actually, the Wiz. Um, I started, but there was a commercial every two seconds, and they were really long, and I was mm. like, "Fuck this, I'm over it." <laughs> Sounds um, right. But so I haven't actually watched a lot of. Like, we didn't watch Rocky Horror live. I started it and turned it off oh, okay. because it was awful and I hated it. <laughs> so I guess I'm the authority. So yeah, Grease Live was pretty good. But no, I don't want to recast it. I don't want them to remake it. Disney, shut up. Don't do it. Do they own it? No. Okay, great. And then the timeline of things are confusing. So as we cut almost immediately to the pep rally, where she's already yes. joined the, the cheer squad. squad. I mean, it can't be the same day. No way. There's Although, no, I mean, they act like it is. Kind of, because it's like, first off, if it wasn't the same day, yeah. how would she not have run into him around high school campus? I mean, I guess it was a pretty big school, but... Sure, but like, how know. big are we talking? That you wouldn't have was... heard of Danny Zuko? Right? The T-Birds? Either way, um, it seems like time should have passed, but they're acting like it didn't. Yes. Um, but we get to meet my other favorite character, oh Sid God. Caesar. We're gonna yank him and tear him and rip him. Rip We're gonna him. take him and roll him around. Choke him! Roll around, rip the shit! And we're gonna finally ring that, that victory bell, <laughs> like we've always wanted to. And after the slaughter is over, we're gonna come back here and ring that victory bell. This was my introduction to Sid Caesar. I think this is my only knowledge of him. Really? I mean, that tracks. What would you, I'm trying to think of Vegas Vacation? Nope, I haven't seen any of the vacation movies. At all? Mm -mm. At all? Mm -mm. At all at all? At all at all. <gasps> Um, and you haven't seen It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Mm-mm. 
And you obviously haven't seen your show of shows. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Greece. Yeah. Love them. Bringing Great. generations together. <laughs> Eve Arden, Sid Caesar, Frankie Avalon. Sure. Love it. Your split was Davoon. Davoon. What is she saying? I don't like saying divine weirdly? I maybe. Your split was Davoon. There's certain things that like, I it's so ingrained in my head, and they and I, I used to say it all the time. Oh yeah. But I had no idea what I was saying. What? If, yeah. Your split what was, was Davoon. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, mm -mm. and I think some of it is like references sure. we don't understand, sure. and some of it is just that's the way they said it. Yep. And now it's just iconic yep. because it's Greece. Because it's Greece and we watched it a million times. We haven't talked about Scorpions. <gasps> and the leather daddy that is part of their crew. Oh my god. I love that. I didn't really ever notice that until this viewing. Oh yeah. But I mean, they're driving by and it's like, wait, he has like a cut off vest, leather and like vest and like a motorcycle hat. And it was like, and he's muscly. And I was like, oh, who's this Tom of Finland guy in the back of the car? Maybe in some ways the Scorpions are cooler and better. Well, the T Birds are posers. Yes. Like, in the traditional sense of cool versus not cool. Sure. They're fully, like, posing as the cool guys, but they're actually softies. With the scorpions, like, they'll knife you. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, they're playing for pinks. Yes. Pinks. Pinks, you punk. Pink slips. Ownership papers. I also never understood that. Even though he it? explains it in... Because you didn't know what a pink slip was? No, and then I thought that was, like, Did you correlate a sexual... to pink ladies? Yes. I was like, oh, is it like a... Are they trading Rizzo? I, mean, I was like, no, you can't do that. Thank God he won. Yeah, well, I'll give you 75 cents for the whole car, including your chick. <laughs> yeah, Find I was a penny, pick, pick it up, up. all day long, you have good luck. luck. It's too far ahead. We're not there yet. Sorry. So, quick commercial break, and we will be back with more singing. Well, no, that's a bad... Uh, we won't sing anymore, I promise. I mean, I can't guarantee that. <laughs> But just come back anyway, you know you want to. And the first of Rizzo's naughty tricks. I mean, she's such an interesting character. Yes. Because on the surface, she's just a bitch, right? Well, it's like, like you trivial have to, stuff you have to that she's discover bitchy about. what's actually going on under the layers and layers of interesting person that's there. Absolutely. Also, I will point out, she's usually only a bitch when she's calling people out for being fake. Oh, yeah. Particularly boys. Yes. Some people are so touchy. She's just calling people out. She's just reading a bitch. That's maybe why I love her so much. Sandy! Danny? Sandy? Danny? 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 And Rizzo's look of just oh, like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Doing it, bitch. Oh, yeah, it's so good. That's yeah. really... I mean, she's just like, what? Oh? Oh, you're gonna lie. Oh. She lets him dig his own grave. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. it's just like, let's see how you play this. Exactly. Because you could be a good guy, or you could be a fake ass bitch. Yep. <laughs> and he's like, what, what happened to the Danny I knew at the beach? <laughs> well, I do not know. I do not. The way he says oh stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, rocking, yeah, rolling. rolling. You know how it is. Danny. Danny. <laughs> That's my name. Don't, Don't wear, wear it out. out. You're a fake and a phony, and I wish I'd never laid eyes on you. You're a fake and a phony, and I wish I'd never laid eyes on you! Maybe there's another one of us walking around. Remember? But I don't want that. I don't know, right? Oh my god. And then meanwhile, Rizzo's face is just like, mm-hmm. Mm. That's what I thought. Now, do we think Rizzo and Danny used to date? Yes. This exchange between them is just, this time was like, oh. Like, I just got all of it and oh. everything, yeah. and I was like, oh my god, this informs so many things. Sure. Men are rats! Worse than that. Rats. They're, they're fleas on rats! Worse than that. They're, they're amoeba amoeba on fleas, fleas on, on rats. rats! That's the only reason I know what an amoeba is. Oh my god, I love it. There were amoebas on fleas on rats. I mean, at the time, one sure. watching it as a child. I guess that's probably true. The only man a girl can depend on is her daddy. <laughs> the only man a girl can depend on is her dad. Oh, is her father? What did she say? It's her daddy. Her dad. Oh, did she say daddy? I think so. I don't know. It always seemed weird to me. But also true, and also very relevant to like the LGBT audience again. You know, you gotta get those gays in there. Oh, that kind of daddy? I'm kidding. Okay. But the only, you know, the, I like that joke where it's like, oh. Oh, I like that. The only <gasps> guy a girl can depend on is her daddy. Now, is that a shirt? Ooh. That then has like a like a like a, one of those motorcycle helmets like tucked on the side of the text. Sure. You know. Yes. Yes. But is it 
maybe the only man a boy can depend on is his zaddy. But then that's just really obvious, but yes. <laughs> Do we incorporate like Jeff Goldblum glasses in there somehow? Yes. I think that means I'm sexy, daddy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so grease. So with the slumber party. Oh, my oh come God. on, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Brush up, brush up, brush. Brush. Oh my God. Uh, talk about iconic. Iconic. I don't know how many times I sang this. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Knocks out. DK turns fast. Fast. Fast, you're sure all right. I fat. I will. Just goes into some other. The little side ponytails and the, <laughs> the pigtails. <laughs> Good, good. Twinkies and wine, real classy, Jen. It says it's right here, here dessert, dessert wine. wine. It's a classic. I really appreciated Marty more on this watch. Mm, yes. Because she, she was, was never a real my favorite. woman. Oh, yes. She, she was, was an adult. I mean, I guess in more ways they than one, set yes. that up. Well, sure. But they, I guess they try and set that up so that it's not as creepy weird when the grown man. Oh, when he tries to roofie her? Yes. I caught him in Tante trying to put an aspirin on my coke at the dance. I mean, it's still creepy. Oh, uh, uh, yes. I think she was more so like trying, she was that girl that was trying to seem more adult. Absolutely. But wasn't. Absolutely. There's she know? Like the cherry. cherry. You know, like in cherry. Never understood that. Really? As a child. Oh, like the cherry has multiple meanings as a child. Well, sure. Now, is Maraschino Cherry a good drag name? Perhaps. Mary Sino Cherry. <laughs> she doesn't like I don't know. Oh boy. Bad. I don't know. <laughs> I can't decide anymore. <laughs> Lost it. Oh right, I know. Oh yes, these the the tip exercises. The only no reason I know about this is because of Gidget. One, two, one, two, one. Oh, I'm exhausted. Two. Oh, come on, don't give up so easily. What's the use? Well, let's see how much progress we made. Oh. Um she was also doing that. And Interesting. It's like, it, I guess it was, it seems like an old wives' tale, obviously, sure. but like that it would make your boobs bigger. I mean, I was assume like if you have pectoral I muscles mean, that were strengthened underneath the, the tits, then yeah, they would... I don't think that's how it works. You'd have a stronger necessarily. beef. <laughs> stronger beef? Stronger core. You know what I mean? It's gonna tighten up that core. God, that is the ugliest looking thing I ever saw. Yeah, the guys really go for it, I and mean, that's how I got my nickname, Frenchie. Sure it is. <laughs> sure it is. Sure it is. <laughs> it's the ugliest thing I've ever, ever seen. seen. So then, you know, oh god. I mean, I'm sure this probably happened at slumber parties. Oh yeah. But it was like, oh, Sandy, can I pierce your ears? Well, and I think because uh, Frenchie's going to beautician school, mm -hmm. like they, or esthetician, beautician. Beauty school dropout. The luck of Florida beauty. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, she wants to practice. I get it. I get it. Like that's that, why she has all the wigs. You know. One assumes. I mean, why? I mean, I love it. Why Thank not? God. Why not? A marine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going with a marine? <laughs> okay. So now I didn't understand this. Yeah. And I still don't know if I ever do. Okay. This time made me more confused. Okay. I always thought it was multiple different men that she was writing to. It is. Okay, great. She's a great pen pal. Yes. I think this might be my favorite song. Yes. Also, my favorite song is There's Worst Things I Could Do, just because, like, ooh, girl. And the layers, the levels. But this is, yeah. like, the most fun, and yes, it's Absolutely. my favorite song. Look at me, I'm Sandra D. <laughs> Won't go to <laughs> bed till I'm legally wed. The way she did that was always so weird, but the wig is on Oh, it's point. so good. I love it. Yes. As for you, Troy you. I know what you, you want to do. do. I mean, Stalker Channing, I think, is my favorite person in this movie. 100%. 100%. Yeah. I mean, Blanche and Sid Caesar and E. Barton, yes, but like, no. It's, it's all about Stalker Channing. Yeah. Elvis, Elvis, let me be. Keep that pelvis far from me. Bongo. Bongo. Remember this? This conversation. Oh, my God. I just... I, discovering new things because the layers and layers and layers of the sim so I always thought it was just sort of like a a bad lazy like generally like oriental joke with like cuz it was the 50s and they were doing that thing where she was just saying fungu sure. for the my entire life hey fungu i mean hey, 
Fungu. That is what I thought you were saying. Didn't know what it meant. Just thought it was generally racist. Just was like, I guess. I don't know. Fungu. It, it's fungu is American Italian for fuck you, translated from fanculo, which is basically fuck you up the ass, in Italian that they say. And then I think like as the further south you go, the more like fangul it sounds. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then though that's how it migrated to America. And so like, you know. And um, then and then I interpreted it as, hey, fangu. I don't know. Went my whole life not knowing that. Love it. Now you know. The more you know. Hey, I'm Doris Day. <laughs> the way she's, hey, yeah, I'm Doris, Doris Day. Day. Like she's doing some TV <laughs> shows. Exactly. Like, what was that? Oh God. What was it? She's a famous actress and she had a TV show and it was just all of the different ways that she introduced herself on the show. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Remind me of that. Yeah. Hi, I'm Doris Day. <laughs> Even Rock Hudson lost his it's heart to Doris Day. Day! More meaning to that now, in retrospect. Even Rock Hudson, who's gay, lost his heart, lost his heart to, to Doris, Doris Day. Day. Yes. I mean, it rhymes. It's right there. There you go. It's right there. It's right there. Some people are so touchy. touchy. <laughs> you making fun of me, Riz? You know what's funny? Huh? Uh, for the longest time, I always thought she was saying, Aaron's. Earrings, like earrings. Instead of Elvis? Instead of Elvis. I don't know why I heard it, but like then it was always all that I would ever hear. Elvis! Elvis! Let me be! And I was like, oh, because they were trying to pierce her ears. Like, earrings, earrings, let me be! Grease is really one of those movies I feel like that everyone kind of rewrote what was happening in their head. Like, cause you watch it so young mm -hmm. and there's so much going on. Yeah, and there's a lot of like hard words or references that are specific that yeah. you, if you don't know, then you just make up what you think you heard that would make sense. Her jugs are bigger than mm -hmm. a nets. Than her nets. Would you pull that crap with a net? I mean, Another thing I never got. Are you gonna flog your log? <laughs> never got it. Yeah, Until no. later in life. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Rizzo's great. Yeah. She's great. <laughs> Doesn't need to be said. We've already said it. I'm gonna say it again. Rizzo's great. She's fucking great. So then she's gonna shimmy down that lattice and... Get her know, kicks while she's young enough to get them. Yes! Kaniki and her are gonna go Drive off, off and, and, you know, watch the submarine races. And um, that's like a Happy Days thing for like... Uh, fucking? Make, making out. Oh. Well, on Happy Days it was always like, we're making out. Gotcha. I found my thrill. I guess just like Blueberry Hill. submarines like his... to me makes it seem like it's like I mean, maybe a, that's a, a long shaft that's <clears throat> entering a torpedo. You know, maybe that was the joke they were making. And as a child, I didn't. I, maybe it was like a Russian sort of coming. Oh, uh, sure, you know, sure. Watch submarine races, fifties kind of. Yeah, I don't know. Thing. Sure. I don't know. But I yeah, that know. was like Richie Cunningham was always, I'm um, Richie Cunningham. No, I mean, I've gone into too many movies. <laughs> and this is my, my wife. wife. Oh, oh, crap. Allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Richie Cunningham. But um, no, Richie Cunningham was always like, oh, we're going to watch the submarine races, dad, bye. And then you and go make out. And interesting. His like make out song was, I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. I don't know why I remember that. That's, yeah. Nick at night, man. Nick at night. Oh my god, Nick at night. Summer block party. <gasps> block party summer? Block party summer, that was the best! Yeah. I can see the graphic now. Oh my god. Monster Mondays, Lucy Tuesdays, Bewitched Bee Wednesdays, Genie Thursdays, and Cotter Friday. During Nick at night's block party summer. <gasps> oh, yeah. Good times. All right? Anyway, right. Reese, although it does kind of all tie in together, because it's not when this movie was made, but when what it it's set. referencing. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But anyway, yeah. Uh, no, they go make out and 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 have full on back oh. seat sex at the oh, top I of Mulholland. Oh, I thought you were going to say then they bareback. Oh, well they do. No bareback. No bareback. No, no, no bareback. No, but I mean this movie does really know what it's doing. For deep penetration into infected pores. The deep penetration of a oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everyone's making out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, as a kid, I didn't get that either. Oh, of course not. No, but I love it. I mean, now you're like, yeah, that's great. And then it was his 25 cent insurance policy. I bought it when I was in the seventh grade. What the hell? Well, 
I guess all's well that ends well. But yeah, it was a false alarm! I mean, this was such an interesting um, plot point that didn't... They easily could have cut sure. to G-rate sure. G rate this. Yeah, I don't even know if I ever picked up on the pregnancy aspect of this movie for a very she long time. literally says, I'm not pregnant! at the end. <laughs> I'm not pregnant! Sure. And then they jump around. But I cheer. think as a kid, maybe I just thought she was excited that she wasn't pregnant. I don't know. But you didn't like put it. I didn't put it all together that oh. she was. That she thought oh. she because they're whispering. And Rizzo's got a bun in the oven. I didn't know that that was a oh, term I mean, as a kid. The thing when she's like, I feel like a defective typewriter. Right. No I idea. skipped a period. Didn't understand that. No idea what that meant. Yeah. So like. All of those things I didn't understand. And so then later on when she's like, I'm not pregnant, I don't know if I ever put it together. Sure. Teen Angel didn't bring a stork to her, so how could she be pregnant? Frankie, Frankie, Frankie Avalon. Avalon didn't bring her. I mean, that just makes sense that he would in that white, heavenly, yes. whatever. Oh my god. That, that in the, would... malt, the malt shop in the sky. Yes. To the malt shop. Okay, we have to get there. We're not there yet. We gotta get there. We're about to get there. Meanwhile, Sandy <gasps> sings her ballad. This was always my least favorite part. It's a little movie. boring. It's real boring. They did her dirty with the choreography. I'm gonna take okay. paper and, and put it in a put it in pool? a paddling pool and just sort of lis wistfully looking into the pad like. Oh no. What, no. They, and, Hopelessly Devo. It's just boring. Well, and I always thought, and I think they switched this up in the Grease Live, and I never realized it until I watched this. I mean, I'm giving you a lot of credit. This song is in the wrong place in the movie. Mm. I think it should be after he disappoints her at the drive in. That she's like, God, like I keep getting dragged in right, by this right. guy and I keep thinking he's gonna change and like, but I'm hopelessly devoted to him. Like what yeah. am I gonna do about it? Yeah. This is a fucked situation. And it's more like, oh. Or after the prom, after he dances with, with Cha Cha. I think you're right. I think if it's after the drive-in right. and she's just like, maybe she's even playing with her finger where the ring was for right? half a second before uh -huh. she took through his piece of tin. You think I'm gonna stay here with you in this, this sin wagon? You can take this piece of tin? Yeah, I think that it would just, be good. Like, doesn't for me make sense. Like, nothing new has happened. She doesn't really interact with Danny. No. Like when Rizzo goes right. down the lattice to talk. Like, yeah. she's not there to be like, oh, he disappointed me again. Right. So that's I don't like the song. It's boring. I agree. And yet, it's like everyone's iconic. Is it? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like a big deal. Hopelessly devoted. I don't like it. Mm -mm. Anyway. Yep. Then we get um, I mean. We're there. We're at Grease Lightning. This is like such a fantasy sequence. Oh yes. You know, at the other musical numbers, it's a fantasy purely because they have started singing in the middle of sure. normal life. Right. But this is the first like fantasy sequence. Yeah. Grease Lightning. Oh my God, it's a we automatic, hydromatic. What's the Grease Lightning? Grease Lightning. And this is where we're real. I mean, this is just Jailhouse Rock. Um, Hound Dog, like yep. it's just yes. Elvis. Like yes. it's, it, the moves are the same, the yep. way it's shot looks the same. I mean, I will say the moves are pretty bad. When you oh. look back at it well, again. Well, once it goes to like the breakdown, yep. like ba 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 da da, and it's just sort of like the people, if you watch the extras in the background, it's like, oh, they don't really, they did, were not really given direction. <laughs> no. <laughs> like they just showed up in coveralls and kind of did some stuff in the background. Kind of dance around. It's not great. <laughs> not great. It is not a Fosse film. Mmm. Oh, and I mean, and this is perhaps like the most iconic dance move that is. It could have been a Fosse. Go, Grease Lightning. Go, Grease Lightning. Go, Grease Lightning. Yeah. Four, the quarter mile. 405? Nope. Grease Lightning, you're burning up the quarter mile. 409? 409. She's real fine, my 409. 409. Yeah, I mean, I'm not far off. What does that song mean? It's a type of car. 409? Yeah. Okay. My four speed dual quad positive traction 409. The chicks are cream! Oh my god. Yeah, didn't understand Ooh, this. that was real Rocky Horror. Like, you know, the way you say, it was good. It was good. Okay, I like it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think actually this is where I thought I had the revelation. Of um, Tim Curry. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this song is, is a classic, iconic, everything I song. remember listening to the soundtrack in the car with my older sisters and like, 
singing the chicks will cream at the top of my lungs having no idea what I was saying and they were laughing and they didn't tell me why <laughs> sounds about right <laughs> I mean, we'll be getting lots of tit. Yep, the chicks will scream. Sure. Because we're giving them so much pleasure in the back of our car. Yep, I mean, it's a real pussy wagon. It's literally all oh, yeah. just about how they're going to get so um, much action. Definitely did not know that that's what they were saying as a kid. I really thought they were saying it's a real push that wagon. Good. Love that. It's a real push that wagon. It's a real push that wagon. Push that wagon. <laughs> How was I to know? And the giant Zippo. The oh, oh. <laughs> and yeah. then I love that you could hear it. <laughs> I mean, with all that hair. I mean, it was. Oh and they were spraying the hair. And they were doing yeah. the cool. Oh no! Like, that's oh, a yeah. yes, fire is. hazard. Yeah. But definitely. then, I mean, it really breaks down when he's doing the saran wrap dance. <laughs> <laughs> like they just like gave up at this point, right? <laughs> just lost the plot entirely. Just what's going on? Suddenly his t-shirt is studded and like everything. Like this was like, I think the height of cute Travolta. Like he was, he was yes. like doing yes. Elvis. Yes. And it was like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Bite the weenie riz with relish. Love. Oh, bite the weenie riz with relish. Such a good, again, a layered pun. Suck my dick, Rizzo. <laughs> love to. <laughs> But also, oh, messaging. but exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's like, yeah, great. I love it. Yeah. Oh, God, she's the best. The best. So we get to the diner. Yeah. Sandy's I never had it. Oh, no wonder. I, I'm such an idiot. I'm like, I've never had a diner like this in my hometown. Duh, because I didn't grow up in the 50s. I mean, you didn't have a Johnny Rockets? Well, I guess we did. Okay. I just never went. You didn't have Ed DeBevix, though. No, or, but like, I wouldn't, you know what, I, I don't know what that is. Ed DeBevix was like Johnny Rockets, but like so much better. And all of the waiters and waitresses dressed up and stayed in character. Oh. And so like one of them was like in a wedding dress who had got left at the altar. And yes. like some of them were like, park it, sister, or whatever. And they all had like, they were all out of work actors. It was great. And they danced on the tabletops and it was like the best. <laughs> and they closed it down and I'm still upset about it. And, and Sandy's on her date with, you know, Oh yeah, with, Meathead. Yeah. What's his name? I don't even. I, I honestly don't care. know. Who cares? He yeah. looks like Lorenzo Lamas. Dull. You know, and obviously that's what we get from their date. Yep. That he's real boring. And this blurred out Coke poster behind them. Oh, now, man. I never noticed it before. I don't know if it's the copy that we legally obtained, or. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Blu-ray copy, and I always watched it on Laserdisc. So. <laughs> I always watched it on VHS and then subsequently on DVD. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. But yeah, that was weird that that Coke sign was blurred out, but then the Later, other, Coke, other ones, Coke was not. It was not fine. a big deal. Yeah. I don't know. Speaking of Coke, though, I think that Patty Simcox might have been on Coke. <laughs> We did, we did speculate that, that maybe that was her problem. I mean... <laughs> Hi, Danny! I can't talk to you right now. Listen, what are you doing later? I can't talk, all right? <laughs> Call me! Come on, Sandy, don't make me laugh! Ha, 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 ha! Oh, come on, Sandy, don't make me laugh! Ha, ha, ha! He really does say things in a way that are so iconic yeah, to me. Yeah, absolutely. He knew exactly what movie he was in somehow. Yes. Somehow. Everyone did. But yeah. Like, they really nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like simultaneously a parody of the 50s and of those movies, but also its own thing. Yeah. It's fucking great. It really is. Oh my gosh. And then we get this whole scene of Danny's like, oh, I'm going to prove to her that I can be a jock too. I mean, this was exciting because there was costume changes. Yeah. And Sid Caesar was there. Yeah. Well, so I was in. You have to change your clothes. First thing we have to do uh, is uh, you have to change. Well, I know that's why I'm here, you know, to change. No, I mean your clothes. I mean, the wrestling scene, I remember just being so funny because it was just like, I mean, there's not the funny? same. Funny? Were you also oh. feeling other things? Oh. Maybe, maybe <laughs> it subconsciously you were maybe. like, I like this. I would wrestle with him. <laughs> maybe. I mean, they're certainly in the wrong weight class to be right. That's, I mean, that was what was always so funny to me. Playing basketball, like oh, yeah. not dribbling, not dri these high-waisted, oh my god, tucked-in diaper shorts. I love that he had so many different like PE outfits, like That's, so many. Why do you think this is basically the only makeover montage we get? Well, we don't get to see her. It's not a montage. No. It's just 
I mean, this is essentially this is a makeover montage. Yeah. You get the baseball outfit. Oh my god. Pulling that cap you real low. Real low. Like, I didn't even see the ball. <laughs> when he trips over the the, the hurdle. Daddy. 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 And then she's just done with. Um, she's just like bye. Okay. There, she's like laughing at him with Danny immediately, like <laughs> right, right. He's such an asshole. He's like bye, and she's just like oh, I'm a bitch. <laughs> High school. I guess. Cheer up. The uh, hickey from Kanicki's like a Hallmark car. Were you care enough to send the best? Uh, give me double a polar burger with everything and a uh, cherry soda with chocolate ice cream. Okay? Ooh, that sounds good. All the same. The same. You can eat a lot. Wow, you can yeah. eat. That's always a stereotype in movies of like girls that are very thin and in shape but also eat a ton is like an attractive thing to a guy. Yes, I hate that. Yeah. From you to me, Pinky Lee! <laughs> oh my god, it's okay! Sorry, French! Sorry, French! <laughs> Sorry, French! Not on this watch, but in a, in a recent watch, mm -hmm. I realized that Vi, the main waitress, yes. is Joan Blondell, who's like a famous old actress. Yeah, we saw that. And also, the other waitress who yeah. shows up to say, Oh, and there's Danny and Sandy! Oh, there's Danny and Sandy? That's John Travolta's sister. I know, right? Totally weird. And then another iconic song. Yeah. I loved this song growing up as well. I did not. You did not. I don't know why. I never got into this. Maybe because I had no idea who he was. Right. I never found him to be charming. I I, I don't like, I still don't really like this song. I Maybe it's about failure. I'm not sure what it's really about. Beauty it, School Dropout? Yeah. Well, it, this is referencing 50s teen movies of, you know, oh, I'm going to like, show you the right way to go, sure. the right path yes, yes. of, you know, I'm going to lead you towards the path of righteousness sure. and purity, sure. essentially, sure. right? Away from sin, in a way, right? And I think because I knew earlier than you who Frankie Avalon was, and that it was making fun of this teen angel trend of, you know, it was like Bobby Darin and, and like all of those people uh, of that era doing these kinds of songs, I got more of what the references were. Okay. So I think that's what it was. Also, I found it hilarious that he called her a hooker. Unless she was a hooker. Hilarious as a child. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like a hooker. <gasps> <laughs> well, plus, the best part about this song, oh watching it in retrospect, is obviously picking Marty and Rizzo out and even Jan in the background. Yeah. Just just like going through the motions of the song like literally going through the motions. What the fuck are we even doing here? Yeah, and school drop I don't know out. what that choice was. Right? Weird. But I do love the Priscilla oh, yes. roller headdresses. Oh my god. I mean I think this should be a drag queen number and or fucking lootly. Halloween cost. I wanna see it. I wanna see all it I'm all the, yes, 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 a hundred percent. Silver smocks. Oh my god, yeah. Yes. I mean the number the staging of it all is pretty fabulous. Yes. It's very like old musical, you know. Yeah. Love it. I, I don't dislike the song, it's just never my favorite. It's not my favorite, but I do love it. Like it better than hopelessly devoted to you. Yes, but I would say just above that. <gasps> I mean, they're, all the other songs are amazing. It's a high bar to. Sure. Whatever. Hurdle. <laughs> Danny. 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 I like that this is another magical realism, you know, like fantasy musical number. I like that they mix them all kind of in between. Yeah. And they lay the groundwork for again. We'll talk about it at the end. But. I mean. <laughs> Isn't everyone just in a collective coma? <laughs> I need to stand up. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I like inadvertently tucked. We're leaving that in. Oh, great. So, of course, I mean, like, the big plot point is, oh, well, the, the prom is coming up and they're going to televise it on and national bandstand. American bandstand. American. <laughs> I mean, this always reminds me of Back to the Future. Oh, yes. And outfits. Oh, my God. The outfits. 
Obsessed. It's like a beautiful blonde pineapple. Rizzo's like Minnie Mouse dress. Oh yes. Her polka dots is so fabulous. Oh, so many good dresses. And of course Jan is wearing a tiara. Because of course. <laughs> I love Jan. Danny in this pink shirt. Pocket square. Does it, are his socks pink? I feel like his socks are I pink I think too. they are. Yeah. Yeah. Love yeah. this very avant-garde. Is that the word you'd use? Well, do you think that a lot of men were wearing pink shirts and socks in but the I 60s? I wouldn't say avant-garde. I'd say progressive or something. Sure. Avant-garde is like, like crazy, sure. artistic, Fine. like, you know, unwearable, sure. like... Sure. I mean, he just looks like he's from Saturday Night Fever. Like, this is just out of the 70s. Yes. Like, this is the most yes. 70s look yes. of his well, That's because looks. he has to do his dancing. I mean... Please come back to, to me, me. please. Come back to me, please. Well, and so then we also get introduced to Cha Cha de Gregorio. They call me Cha Cha because I'm the best dancer at Saint Bernadette's. Obsessed with her. Love her. Also, she's definitely <laughs> not in high school. Not in high school. No. That's all I'm saying. But she's also fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I yeah. love her. Yeah. Her yellow pants. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If only I could pull this off. <laughs> so then this was one of the cringy things that I noticed this time. Mm. Where at the prom, you know, they're going through the rules. And no, nothing too dirty, of course. And then she said, Tasteless and tasteless. vulgar dancing. Anyone doing tasteless or vulgar movements will be disqualified. That leaves us out. But then Caesar goes, all couples must be boy girl, and it's like, and then they, and then what? I mean, that's like, sure, fine, it's of the era. All couples must be boy girl. Yeah, too bad, Eugene. <laughs> but then they also have this like rude, uh, homophobic, gay hating joke on poor Eugene. Sorry, Eugene. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, gross. To be fair, I also was like, do you think Eugene's gay? <laughs> I mean, even if he is. Well, that's fine. But like, it was interesting then that then they make that joke about it. But also, fuck all of you. Not you guys. You're fine. Tits is fine. <laughs> Do we have to have a shirt that just says tits, tits is, is fine? fine? Yes. Yes, I want that shirt. So many shirt ideas. I know. And Sha Na Na is the prom band. I mean, it's not actually, but it's Sha Na Na. And <laughs> And they're born to hand jive, baby. Born to hand jive, baby. I don't have my, don't have my hands. I know, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> and this is when we first get introduced to the character I was always drawn to, who I call Parker Posey at the prom. I don't know what it was. She gave me so much personality and face. She's in a blue dress. Her hair is kind of a mess. She's yelling at her boyfriend about messing up. But like, keep an eye out for her, because she's great. <laughs> well, and then we find out, of course, that since Rizzo went with Crater Face. I mean, I feel bad, but I don't know his actual name. No. I He's dressed like a zoot suit, oh, sort yeah, of like. It's yeah. very, uh, it's weird. very much a lot. But since she decided to go with him, Kaniki <laughs> asked Cha-Cha, and they do this weird Punch and Judy, like, faux slap. Remember that, like, weird? Yes. Oh, you're slapping me. You're yeah. slapping me. Yeah. Oh, and oh, they're, like, and they're and like, enacting some sort of play. And then, like, does he kind weird. of, like, motorboat her? A little, or, she, like, like, she, like, she kind of, and then it's, like, a lot. But the slapping really threw me off. I was uh, like, what is what, this? Why is that a dance What's this move? performance that you're putting sure. on? I don't know. I don't either. Weird. But they get disqualified. <laughs> yes, they do. I, this was always so weird to me. Okay, so Danny and Sandy are dancing. Yep. And then she kind of gets separated. Sonny is dancing and he they have is shown drunk. him yes. drinking. And spiking the punch. Previously. Yes. He runs into Danny and Sandy. Oh right. no! And then in his drunken stupor is like, I'm gonna dance with Sandy. And then Cha Cha is like, ha ha, I'm gonna hop here's in. my opportunity to win this tiny, tiny trophy. <laughs> I'm gonna hop in on this game. I guess she wanted to be on TV. Of course. More than the trophy, but of sure. Course. She's the best dancer at St. Bernadette's. But really this is on Danny, because he's like, well, I oh. guess I'll just dance with Cha Cha then. Yeah. What? I, he doesn't even feign. To be like, oh, Sandy. I mean, he has like a moment of like, what's happening? I'm, oh, oh, okay. Okay, I'm we're dancing we're with dancing. Cha Cha now. Yeah, he's terrible. She should have been like, no, we're through. I'm dumping you. You don't care about me. You don't treat me well. You suck. Goodbye. You know, she wanted to change him. Uh, he was her project. And said she changed herself. But we'll talk about it. There's pros and cons. And of course, the blue mooning. Blue moon. <laughs> I just love Blanche. <laughs> I wonder who 
that is on the right. Oh, because they're all watching from the diner. The, yeah, the FBI is... <laughs> Those pictures are on the way to Washington, where the FBI has experts in this type of identification. So then they take the car to the drive-in, and everyone's in the trunk. Right. So you know, for free. The whole telephone game, and yeah. then she gets to Kaniki, so I hear you're pregnant. Wow, good news really travels fast. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good Rizzo too. Thanks! Yeah. I'm just full of them tonight. Yeah. It's almost like you've watched this movie a million times. A hundred thousand times, perhaps. <laughs> But not on Laserdisc. I, I've, nev I've never seen a movie on Laserdisc. Really? Nope. Oh my gosh. Well, my dad still has this Laserdisc player, so sometime you'll have to come to Tucson and then we can watch. That'd be really fun. I'm into it. I'd be fully down. Into it. Yeah. Sandy and Danny. Danny's trying to make up for, you know, going off with Cha Cha. I still think that you and Cha Cha went together. We did not go together, Sandy. We just went together, that's all. We didn't go together, we just went together. And this you just got upon this watch. Oh, yeah! Fuck yeah. oh, you! You think I'm gonna stay here with you in this, this sin wagon? She's, you know, take this piece of tin and throws it into the car, slams the door right on his boner. I didn't ever think Did of that. I mean, I just thought it was kind of like, yeah, because it was always like, well, what would she have slammed it onto? Mm-hmm. Stranded at the driving. Branded a fool. Why, 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 you, why? You left me. I, I love this song. This was like one of my top songs. It's so not a song people talk about. No, no, no. But like, it's not like on the karaoke disc or whatever. Mm -hmm. Even though, I oh love God. it. I would so do that song. Right? Sandy, my darling, you hurt me real bad. Sandy, my darling. Oh, yeah, this like breaks it. You the hurt me real bad. bad. The spoken word section the of the song. Oh I mean, my I God. love I love a, a monologue breakdown in the middle of a song. You know, more so than other, other songs. Yes. Fully a parody, and yet st like still a good song and fun. And, yes. Like furthering the plot and etc. And et well, and it's just so melodramatic, and it's very much again like the beginning where it's like, oh, this. This high school, yes. isn't this the most important thing in the entire world? Yes. You know, like in that that idea. And so he's just so. I mean, but then it's also no like other... a joke. Like, that's true. That he's in on. And I can't tell if it's that John Travolta is in on making fun of these 50 things or if Danny is making a joke of it. No, John Travolta is in on it. Okay. But Danny is so fully serious about it. I love it then. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. That's at least the way I read it. Heaven forever. And he's like dramatically on the swings. Oh, yes. Well, then, of course, I mean, my favorite part about the song, I think, is the, the hot dog and the bun I doing mean, flips in the background. I mean, gleefully, with, <gasps> with with relish, jumping into that bun. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, and the director and John Travolta argued about this because John Travolta was like, no, the song should end with a close up on me. Of course. I just turned into Norma Desmond. On me? I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> in the garage. In the garage. There's a room over the garage. And the director was like, no, it has to be on the hot dog jumping into the butt. <laughs> I love it. I love that. And then this like vulnerable scene between Kaniki and Danny. But well, I, I thought that you could maybe be my second at Thunder Road. Oh, remember last night at the drive-in, like the guy was like his lieutenant. Mm, he was like, he was, like second. his second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, listen, I'll pick you up at three, huh? It's like on one level, it's very dumb and yep. broy, and, and but it's nice that. to see two men having like an emotional, a vulnerable, vulnerable moment, moment on right? film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, then, I they, mean, if, then they punch each other. Toxic masculinity, but. But there was the that brief uh -huh. shining moment uh -huh. Uh -huh. where they actually talked to each other about feelings. Uh -huh. And it was a good thing that they did do because that lucky penny was not so lucky. See a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. And I mean, then the best song. I mean, I love. Ah, oh, they're all so good. They're all so good. Love this song. But this song. There Rizzo, are worse things I, I could, could do. do. I mean, I wish we could play the entire song in its entirety. We're probably already going to get flagged regardless because probably. of the song. Box. Pause, go watch it. Just watch, Come just back. like watch the whole thing. Just like soak in oh, the performance. It's so good. Her holding the binder and against just, the wall. Oh, the and Kaniki like oh, driving off. Oh, I know. Like, oh, and I yeah. Mean, this scene is so good. The hypocrisy that she's just, you know, the whole song is about, you know, 
Patty Simcox, essentially. Right. You know. Yeah, well, sure, because that's the one I was telling you about. <gasps> the one that's been going to school with us for four years. That I definitely know that by name. I know her name. <laughs> that's the one I was telling you about. <laughs> Take cold showers, showers every, every day. day. And throw my life away for a dream that won't come true. It's so good. I could flirt with all the guys. I love the way she's press against them when we dance. Make them think they stand a chance. Then refuse to see it through. That's a thing I never do. I would never say that. I would never do that. I like that too, though. Like where Rizzo's one where we really see the like this idea of Oh, women have like sexual wants and desires yep. as well. Yep. Even though the neighborhood thinks I'm trashy and no good. That song is so good. It's so good. And she really nails it. Nails That's, it. I think Just what like brings it. Just like the lyrics of cuz like that could easily be a parody. This is such an interesting musical because there's so many different varieties. There's the magical realism songs. Yep. There's the clearly like overly melodramatic parody songs. Yes. There's the big group numbers. Yes. And then there's this. Yeah. Which is like a really deeply meaningful and powerful soliloquy, essentially. Yeah. A uh, ballad, and it's just so good. Yeah, so then it's the big race. <gasps> Down on the L.A. Reservoir. It's the, it's the L.A. River. Well, yeah. They the... concreted over. I mean, it was there for a volcano. Oh, so. boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I would love to retro-review that movie because I always really enjoyed it. I think because it's such a campy disaster. It's garbage. It's garbage. <laughs> Including Sandy from far. I was, she takes off her shoes. And she used to put him back on. Just always really gave me a Mr. Rogers vibe. <laughs> sure. Do we think Knicky was overreacting to his... Do you think he was faking it? Uh, oh, he was, he, was, he was faking it, huh? I think maybe a little bit. Like, maybe like, like, like perfect oh, out. Great. Sure. Also, Danny's the star, so. Well, right, <clears throat> obviously. Oh, no. I mean, that, yeah, it was, it was a good thing that they had that conversation about the second. Oh, and I always thought this was weird that their, their teacher, the shop Yeah, class she's teacher, like cheering them on. In their illicit. She's fabulous. Sure. But she danced with them in Grease Lightning talking about getting chicks to cream. Makes sense. That tracks. <laughs> I mean, this race oh my God. with the the spiked hubcaps. I always thought those were so scary oh, and also cool. But no. then when they when he when it hits the hubcap or whatever, it's like, haha, it broke Shh. off. Gotcha now. Silly. And then they do that like half leap. Oh yeah, over the over the puddle or whatever, and it's like <laughs> slow moe like it's over like a very shallow puddle. And oh shucks, I got stuck. Oh no. And then he walks through it, and it's up. <laughs> but not disappointed in Frenchie's white sunglasses. Oh my god, yes, they were really fabulous. Also of the era, those were like, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. Sandy, aren't you happy? What's the matter? Aren't you happy? No, not really, Frenchie, but I think I know a way I could be. Could you help me? Of course. That always made me laugh. Right. No, not really. I mean, I know that she was talking about herself. Cause, cause we look at me. Oh right, her internal. I mean, another different variety of of musical, right? Oh, and yes. an, an internal song. An internal reprise. Sandy, you must start a new. Yeah, I never liked this reprise personally. No, at least it was short. Absolutely, and it tells you what you need to know. She's not happy with herself. She's like, why am I pretending to be someone that I'm not? Right. Perhaps, and that's where we really. Or is it? Or is she saying, I know what I have to do. Like, you can't be Prissy Sandra D because everyone hates you. <laughs> you have to be Sandy, the badass chick who wears leather pants. I mean... Where did she get the leather pants? I want to know. I want to see that shopping trip. She did have to get sewn into those pants. Wow. In reality. Yeah. And they were vintage. And she found them at some sort of thrift store. I don't know why I know this. Love it. But I do. I mean, I'd like to think that the the theme or the, the point is that she liberated herself yeah. from the 1950s oppression of 
you know, sexuality yes. and women's rights and all of, you know, everything. All Absolutely. of it, everything. Yes. She's been a woman now of her own volition and desires right. and, and power. But it does also sort of feel like the trope of Cinderella or Little Mermaid, like, well, I just won't be a mermaid anymore. I'll be a human for you. And it's like, fuck you. Yes. Um, it's a bit of both. Yeah. It's a bit of both. And maybe that's okay. That's okay. I mean, I did read that the filmmakers like thought it was a funny take on how in all the, all the 50s movies like the good the good boy you know Archie gets wrapped up in a gang and 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 like those cautionary tales of reefer madness and stuff like that like mm. and then he became a, a you know a hooligan <gasps> you know and and isn't that funny that it's happening to a woman they sure. that was sort of their take on it okay so it's a little like but, she's seen this other side of this new world that she never right. thought possible or well, I, I yeah. think had they done just a few more bit of business, a few little shots of Sandy looking at Rizzo like with sort of or yearning to Or be even that. just the pink ladies or wanting to be part of it and having the influence just, of just here and there, just dribbling in a little bit of her wanting that outside of Danny. Yeah. It would be great. Goodbye to, to Sandra, Sandra D. D. And then it's the last day of school. Boom, boom, boom. And the carnival. I mean, this school. Oh my god. Has it all. State fair, county fair, carnival nonsense at graduation. Why? I don't know, but sure love it. This huge fucking Ferris wheel. Uh, yeah. It's a false alarm. I'm not, not pregnant. pregnant. And these hot pants. Oh my god, her little, yeah. So tiny. I mean, and of course this icon, I mean, just absolutely iconic Sandy makeover. Yep. Sandy. Tell, Tell me about it, stud. <sighs> I mean, and he kind of, I mean, he puts on a sweater for her. Let's not overly exaggerate, but he does attempt um, change. A little bit. He certainly does attempt it throughout the movie. That's We've true. We've seen him trying to become the man that she wants him to be. And they have to grow together. Or he thinks she wants him to be. And they meet in the middle a little bit. Ish. She takes a bigger journey than he does. <laughs> well, it's only a quicker turnaround. Well, yeah, that's for sure. He's trying throughout. She's not. And yeah. then immediately is a different person. Yeah. But, you know, it's great. Yeah. Because this song. Oh, my God. Song. When they're telling her how to throw it, like, Sexily throw the cigarette. Oh, like, oh like, yeah. Throw that jacket away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Like coaching. Well, that's kind of fun too, where it's like she's not just like a fully different person. Mm -hmm. ooh, 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 honey. Ooh, 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 honey. honey. And they go through this, I mean, the Shake Shack and the Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And the, and the dancers and the in this get really gay. <laughs> I, there's no other way of saying it. It's just like, I really, you really, I really noticed, noticed like, the Broadway gay dancers. Like, you're just like, oh, who well, are they? Of, I mean, this full final number. Oh, yeah. Into We Go Together. I mean, all of the dancers show up. Oh, yes, I yes. mean, Groucho Marx shows up. I always thought that was funny. I was like, what's he doing? What's happening? <laughs> it was all just really weird, but it's, it's just, great. I think these are probably my two favorite songs. We've said that throughout, Andrew. I know. Well, I mean, obviously, it. obviously, like, I, there are worse things I could do. And but, like, these be. are just so fun and iconically Grease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? You're the one that I want. Do you want, do I want? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then it, like, blends almost seamlessly into We Go yeah. Together. Oh, I babaloo, I babaloo. We go together like ram ram ram. But ding 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 dong. Forever like shoo up, 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 Oh, I'm Bob, I'm Bob, I'm Bob, I'm Bob. And then they're in the car, flying off to I just heaven. I really want to know. To that malt shop in the in sky. The... It's a different car. It's a red car. Well, this it's is not the fantasy lightning. car, right? No, it's different. No, it's, it's red. That's the fantasy. When it's the... white with red stripes. No, that's the real one. Oh, that's the real one. This is the fantasy red this one with the, the clear hood. This is. Trust me. I remembered the clear hood. I think I remember Mel Gibson <laughs> accurately. accurately. You're right. 
But what? Oh, okay, we gotta get. But so then, what is that trying to say then? It's the fantasy car. They're in a fantasy together. They're gonna ride off into the into, into the, the sunset, sunset. Except it's a flying car. That's it's flying. That's it, it is strange twist. It's not just like okay, bye, and, and then they, like they like they like, off. You know, they could have done like a we're close on them, and then the car speeds away and it reveals like just married. I hate it. <gasps> I hate yeah. it. But like that seems more. Or literally, the car just rides off into the Logical. sunset. Logical, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of a horse, it's grease lightning flashing off into the distance. Bye, bye, bye. See you later. I think I'll miss you most of all, Frenchie. Like I don't know, but I love it. Love this. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> you. Ah, it's just. Yeah. It's just so weird though it's too. It's just so fucking weird, yeah. and the way it's shot. Like it seemed like they were riding it, and they just went. I, I don't know, they fly off uh, in a car, like yeah. it just seems so They fly so off into random. the sunset into heaven, I don't know, it's so weird. It like is. someone accidentally wrote, fly off into the sunset right. instead of drive, and then they just shot it. Yep. <laughs> in the fantasy car. Yeah. But that's the... That's... I think it's just a, a visual representation of happily ever after. Yep, absolutely. I guess. Yep. Everything's exactly how they wanted it to be. Everyone, the whole gang's back together. There's no way it's gonna happen that they're not gonna stay in touch, even though we all know this is gonna happen. Yeah. Everything's great. Jim, the car, the fat one. I mean, we didn't talk about this. We didn't talk about that. Her like constant dieting throughout, and then at the end, she's I like mean, a skinny little mini. They and put her, like. It's just funny that like she's like movie fat, right? They like put her in all these like chunky heavy sweaters. sweaters and oversized things, and then at the end, she's just like very fit, thin, very thin. Well, maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's part of the magical that's her realism. Journey. She's yep. She's where she wants to be. But where's Marty? Where she's off with? Well, no, he's a rapist. <laughs> I think she's just. They show her with you know those like funny cutouts where their heads are in there. Yeah, they do. And oh yeah. She's with. You know, Not Sunny. The other Podsy one. or yeah. Duty or. <laughs> one of the three stooges. <laughs> one of the three stooges. Not Rolf. Right. Not Rolf, although who got who got what? Jan. One? Oh right, good for her. Get it, Jan. <laughs> sure, Jan. I mean, I think we got into it and broke it down. I'm not sure. We'll I, never know, really. I, I we'll know. never really know. No. But 